Thank you, thank you, uh, Honourable Chairperson. Look, it's true that uh, it, uh, we are <coughs> engaging, rather we're forced to engage in a futile exercise, listening to entities without accounting officers, uh, with whom uh, the very qu first question that you posed um, about the management of this budget, whether it increases, whether it reduces, has to happen between ourselves and accounting officers. So uh, that's the first thing. I think we must uh, align ourselves with uh, those uh, sentiments that uh, if, the, if, if the DG is not here, literally we can't even have a meeting. Mm -hmm. We should... Uh, we can discuss other things, obviously. we. We are members of parliament, we've got many things we'd like to talk about, but we, we can't engage in a futile exercise. Uh, uh, we'll have to have the DG or the minister to be here in order to have a proper, intelligent, accountable conversation with uh, these entities. That's number one. But the second thing, it's not a secret uh, that um, uh, what has happened today is that uh, Minister Faith Mutambi is running away to be held accountable about the reports of nepotism, uh, but also the reports of corruption that are happening in her department under her instructions. And this is a matter of urgent public importance that she's using state resources uh, for nepotistic reasons, employing people uh, uh, in, an, in an illegal way firstly, but also in a nepotistic way. Also using public funds to fly friends and families and relatives way beyond the number that uh, is required. That is why she is not here. And that is why some of the members who would have wished this committee not to parade are not here. There is a deliberate plan to collapse the functioning of parliament to hold the cabinet of Ubabaga Tutuzani accountable. It must go on public. We're not scared to say those things. We know that is the case. One, she has run away to be held accountable in relation to that. But number two, the South African people must know that there is now a deliberate plan that some amongst us of members of parliament want to collapse this institution to do its job, this excellent job of holding the cabinet of Jacob Zuma, uh, Mr. Jacob Zuma accountable. That, that, that I think for us is the sentiment we want to uh, uh, communicate without uh, any fear or favor. Finally, uh, because in any way she hasn't been here, uh, let's subpoena her. Uh, and then uh, let's exhaust all the processes that are um, available to us. So we would support the process of subpoenaing her to come and account not only about her other duties, but uh, uh, this uh, uh, corruption and nepotism that she is faithful to since uh, being a cabinet member for that matter. I know her very well from communications. And this is the type of attitude we always had to deal with. So that's what we have to say, Chairperson, in expressing ourselves. Thank you very much. Okay, Honorable Nyami Poy.